off the green. Mr. Cooper says it moves to my left. I trust Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper, you had it read perfect. I just didn't. I pushed it just a little bit. Sixth hole here at the Concord Golf Club. Get a look at the yardage. 100 yards from a severely elevated tee. We are backed right up against the interstate here, so I know the noise is terrible. I'm not gonna say a whole lot, I'm just gonna hit this wedge and see what happens. Be right. Be in. Be a one. Go in! Oh, dead gummit. I thought we had it there for a minute. Anyway, still got a good good putt at the birdie. Should be able to get back to even par. Get one under, actually. Got a little excited on the tee there, I know. I thought we had a one. We do have the two. Two birdies back to back wipes away that one double bogey we had, and with a birdie on the first, puts us at uh, one under par here at Golf Soup. Coming up on the seventh hole at uh, Concord, a hole that gives you options, but in a day like today, probably takes some away from you. Is getting to see what we do before, hey, before we actually hit the shots. Seventh hole, it says 302. Still don't put down here for me. Hole number seven here at Concord Golf Club. 302 yard par four. Got a ditch that runs in front of this green, so pulling out driver and just welling at it is not a good option. Um, it is some hard ground out here right now, so Mr. Cooper's advised me to hit the four iron. We're just gonna lay it up. Just right up the middle, solidly hit. Beautiful shot. And you're right, if I'd hit the three iron, that would have gone in the ditch. Great call from a cameraman slash caddy guru, Koopa. Really good tee ball there, leaves us in great position. We've still got the big ditch to go over, but unless I just wickedly hit it fat, it should not come into play. Um, as Mr. Cooper and I were discussing coming up here, you know, the the greens out here are small. They're, they're what we would refer to as postage stamp type greens. So it makes them difficult to hit sometimes, even from such a short yardage as I have here. I only have about 50 yards in, but I'm uh, fretting the fact that I can even hit the green. We've got the lob wedge. Really going to try to juice this one so. Oh, I hit it fat. Get over the ditch. What did I say, wickedly hit it fat? Take a look at this. That is wickedly hitting it fat. That's horrible. I'm the world's worst golfer. World's worst golfer. Just a horrible, horrible second shot. I've chosen sand wedge from a little chip here. You know the sand wedge, I'm still gonna try to let it run out some. Whoa! Whoa! 
Whoa! That was a better shot than the result showed there. I thought that would be fantastic. Gotta make a tough six footer now. Well, the Lord giveth and he taketh away. Golf soup seems to want to give everything away. Every time I make a good birdie, I give it back with a, a bad hole. No reason to make a bogey from where I did there. A uh, good putt I hit there, it just did not do what, what I'd anticipated it doing. So two holes left. Maybe we can get a birdie, get it back to under par, not be so disappointed in the round. You know, it's been a day of ups and downs. Uh, let's finish the round out. Eighth hole here at Concord Golf Club. Par three, we're having a debate on the yardage. Cooper's telling me it's 83 yards. I'm, I'm inclined to trust him on that measurement too. Uh, got a sand trap up there to the left. Just a little bitty flip wedge is basically what this is, if I can hit the shot properly. Uh, using my sand wedge instead of the lob wedge, which has really cost me several shots today. throw one at it. Right at it, Poop. It's the right distance. This long. Damn. What a great shot that was. Just, just long. Uh, right at the flag. Say it was just long. <laughs> Let's go get it up and down. Tell you what, it's kind of handed it to us out here today. The uh, hit some good shots and just really just had one bad hole, but you know, sometimes you're 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 always on unfamiliar unfamiliar territory out here when you're playing. So uh, it's got the best of me today so far. Once again, I chose the flat stick. I've not had great luck with the putter or the wedge from just off the greens. Let's see if we can change our luck here and hit a good putt. Slow down. Slow down. That's a three footer. I can make that one. Pretty easy par there. Been a been a wild day for us. It really has. I hear a train coming, so we'll cut it short. We're heading to the ninth tee. We'll let this train pass and we'll play on. Hole number nine here, Concord Golf Club, par four, 249 yards. Obviously a drivable par four but the hole sits up on a hill. If you don't get it all the way up there, it will come all the way back down. Uh, not just a, a, a dead giveaway birdie by any means. Plus I've got this tall pine in front of me. I've got a four wood in my hand. I've got to get it over that pine tree and that's not really good for my particular ball flight. We'll make some adjustments. See what happens. Cut it, I didn't hit it very good. Going at the right side of the green there, there, Coop. And I really have no idea. Don't see it coming back down the hill, but again, just trying to get it up in the air too much. I laid back on my right side and I kind of twisted out of it, didn't get solid contact. So playing from the right side is much better than the left, anyways. We'll have a shot at Birdie, I'm sure. 
We're trying a tricky and risky little shot here, folks. didn't move as much as I had anticipated I didn't ask Mr. Cooper all right even part around here at Concord Golf today I want to thank you guys for joining us uh, I want to say a special thanks to the folks and staff here at Concord for allowing us on the course today uh, guys if you haven't checked the golf course out out here uh, 18 holes plus tax for um, $18 excuse me let me rephrase all that 18 holes out here cost $18 plus tax. So, uh, come on out and give the guys a, a chance. Uh, before we get out of here, I do want to uh, mention some of our good sponsors, UPS Store, uh, Cannons Rack and Axle, um, Indoor Air Solutions with Tommy Ivester. I want to, want to give a, a special moment to him for just a second. Tommy, uh, teaming up with Southeast Air, uh, put in the uh, air unit at uh, the uh, Extreme Home Makeover. I uh, do want to say a very big congratulations to them for the, the work and the, the charity work that they did there that uh, shows the class of people they are. We really do appreciate them. And there were so many people who worked so hard on that that uh, project that probably won't get the recognition that they deserve. But, of course, it's all for, for the greater good anyway. But uh, I do know that Tommy Ivester uh, participated in that project, and I was very proud that he's one of my sponsors. and and doing such good work. So Tommy Ivester and uh, Southeast Air, our hats are off to you here at Golf Soup. We appreciate you very much. Um, as for anything else, folks, don't forget us at Leopard City Golf. Uh, spring's right around the corner. In fact, uh, we've had some great weather here the last last few days and uh, looking forward to spring coming in summer. So uh, if you've not got your, your uh, clubs out and dusted off, it may be time to do that. And if you don't play here at Concord, if you don't play at my place, there's plenty of choices in town. All the golf courses will be more than welcome to have you. So make a tee time somewhere this week. Support your local golf. Uh, until next week, I'm James Leith for Golf Soup, and we'll see you on the course.